Hey friends, today I am at the Magic Kingdom. I came out today because they said that the People Mover might be running, but I also just wanted to come and enjoy Magic Kingdom, check out some of the merchandise, ride some rides, eat some food, and just enjoy a wonderful Sunday at Disney World. So, let's go do this. It's two o'clock, so park hopping has officially started. Definitely looks like the crowds are very minimal. I mean, on Main Street, that is. I'm liking this. When you can walk in like this at the beginning of your day, it's gonna be a good day. Some of the merchandise that I wanted to check out are the masks, because I absolutely love the Spirit Jersey mask. Those are my favorite to wear that like Disney Parks actually makes. And they came out with a new one that's kind of just has like a little Mickey on the side of it. I love the holiday version and I love the blue one. So I'm definitely gonna get one of those today. That's what I'm talking about. New mask and I'm ready to go. I really love the way these actually feel on the face. That's why I said I needed to get one and I've been looking around for them so they were hard to come by. Look at this, the Tomorrowland Terrace is actually featuring fare from the Columbia Harbor House. So you can come here and you can get your fried shrimp and fish. Wow, I'm excited. I think I'm gonna have lunch here. Obviously, you can see the trio platter, the chicken and fish, the chicken and shrimp. I think I'm gonna get chicken and shrimp. This sounds like a, I'm so excited. And some hush puppies. This is such a great place to grab something to eat. You have plenty of seating, it's covered. You get a view of the castle and you just enjoy some good food. When I heard Tomorrowland Terrace was opening, I didn't know it was gonna be Harbor House food. So that even makes it 10 times better. And like I said, there is plenty of seating. You can literally sit up here underneath everything or you can actually sit down there and you have a view of the castle and that's probably where we're gonna go sit. They just buzzed me in, so now my food is ready. Look at it up here, isn't it so fancy? And actually, I've never been in those restrooms before, so I'll have to check those out. Nathan Morrow. Chicken and shrimp. That's the stuff. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am so excited, look at that. I see the little shrimp right there. And we got a nice table with the castle view. This me. This is such a beautiful place to just sit down and eat. I am so excited. I grabbed the chicken nugget because I was really hungry. I wanted something to snack on. I'll get to the shrimp, but the chicken nuggets, I feel like they're different. Like, you know what I mean? Than the regular chicken nuggets served all around the park. I think Harbor House like has the different spices in the breading. I may be wrong, but they do. They just taste different to me. But what I really love are these shrimp. I mean, wow. This is the good stuff. The shrimp from Harbor House are so amazing. I absolutely love them. <laughs> and just take a look at that view though, right? This is so beautiful over here. I remember doing the dessert party down here and actually getting such an amazing view. Now that is something I wish would come back. I mean, I think you need the fireworks for that to come back, but that was so amazing. I actually got to do that just a couple of weeks before the parks closed and I'm so lucky because I'd never done it before. And it was so funny because we were sitting like right over here and I remember that night, like I, I think it was literally like two weeks before the parks closed. And I remember saying, this is so good, I'm definitely doing it again. They had all you care to enjoy beer and wine and then some amazing snacks and then you got to enjoy happily ever after. So uh, in the future, if that ever does come available again, I am doing it so much, I love it. Now I'm gonna grab a little hush puppy. I've really only had Harbor House Hush Puppies and uh, Long John Silvers. I've never really had any other ones, so I'm sure I don't know what a good Hush Puppy tastes like, but these are really delicious to me. <laughs> Look at that little duck. He's splashing around. That was actually so delicious. It was, uh, I think it was $13. They gave you three shrimp, three chicken, two hush puppies, and then french fries. That's like a very good valued meal. Now it's time to move along, but I did want to point out something really awesome. See how they have this like roped off area here? It's because of uh, the allergies to seafood. How amazing is that? <laughs> now I'm gonna go wash my hands and check out that bathroom. Any of you guys actually get excited to go in a new bathroom? I don't know why I do. I just like seeing what they look like. Look at the little Tomorrowland man on there. That is amazing. It was just a really old bathroom. I don't think it's okay to film inside bathrooms or else I'd show you. 
Now I must be moving along though. And I heard that the people mover was actually running, but looks like it's just sitting up there. So uh, I'm probably here too late to catch it running, but I'm sure there's tons of videos circulating of it just going round and round. I wish they would make like the soundtrack so you can like hear it. That would be something pleasant. Wow, look how empty it is over here. Holy moly. I also think I got a mask too big for my face. I know that sounds like impossible, but this is the extra large one. And I feel like the large one is probably better fitting. I definitely haven't seen the people move or run at all, so I definitely missed it. Oh, <laughs> wow, did you see that bird? The attraction wait times seem very long today. It looks like Winnie the Pooh is stretching down by cosmic rays. I don't know if I would wait that long. I mean, I love Winnie the Pooh, but that seems like it's a very long wait. We always say things about wait times and how long we would wait and anything like that. What I mean by that is basically because we can come here anytime we want. Well, I mean, not anytime we want anymore, but you can come, you know, back tomorrow if you make a reservation and maybe catch it at a different time. So it's tough to say whether you would wait for something. But if I was on vacation, I would wait for all of these rides just to be able to experience it while I was here for such short period of time. If I only came down to Disney World like once a year, I would wait the 175 minute wait for Seven Doors Mine Train just so I could say I got it done. So in the meantime, I'll stick to It's a Small World, which only looks like it's about 25 minutes. I'll tell you what, It's a Small World isn't my favorite attraction, but I do love it for its nostalgia and history. It's so amazing. I love Disneyland way better though. Literally probably about 20, 25 minutes. That's not too bad at all. Looks like we're getting boat 10, front row. Fancy, fancy. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, little bumpy, little bumpy. Welcome to the happiest cruise that ever sailed. So much fun. I have not rode It's a Small World in probably, I would say, a good year. I haven't rode it since the park reopened, so it's definitely been a year. But I just love it. I love it for the history and I love it just for the, I mean, the music. It can get a little bit tiring, especially if you get stuck in there and it's known to happen, but it's still just a very happy ride. Wow, it's only a 15 minute wait for the Haunted Mansion. I do like to wait and actually ride it at night. I think it's a lot better at night, but during the day, I don't mind shopping at Memento More. That sounded like a fancy poem. During the night, I like to ride, but during the day, Memento More. Or maybe I'm just not. I always like to come in here and see what kind of cool little trinkets and merchandise they got going on. It's one of my favorite little shops. One thing I always will regret is not buying the Haunted Mansion Spirit jersey. I don't know why. I've never been able to find it again, but it's one that I would absolutely love to own. One thing I think that is really cool and also a little bit new is the gargoyle statue. $80 for this. Isn't that amazing? And I think it lights up on the candlesticks. I love it. 
and when you come out of Memento Mori, it's kind of funny because remember earlier we ate at the Tomorrowland Terrace and they had Colombian Harbor House food. Well, they're using the Harbor House as an actual extended queue for Peter Pan's flight. So you loop down here and you actually go inside the Harbor House and then you actually come out the Harbor House, the back entrance here, and this is all the queue for Peter Pan's flight. That is really fancy, isn't it? You get a little tour as you go through, a little cut through the Harbor House. I think that's the coolest line ever. That's the coolest extended queue ever. Well, this is kind of a cool thing. Right outside of Princess Fairytale Hall, the evil stepsisters are actually doing a meet and greet. We got Drizelle and Anastasia, and they have, they're talking. I love chicken nuggets. I love the evil stepsisters interactions with the guests. I think it's so much fun. I actually like their interaction with each other too. Like the one stepsister, I think Drizelle was like something about chicken nuggets and Anastasia's like, what are you talking about chicken nuggets? They're really good. It's a really fun meet and greet. Now I think I'm gonna head on over to Adventureland, maybe do Pirates of the Caribbean or actually Splash Mountain and Frontierland. One or the other, I'm not sure yet. It's looking like Pirates is about a 35 minute wait. So I think that's the one where we decided on going to. I wanted to get Splash Mountain done, but as it gets later in the day, it gets colder and I'm not about the soggy bottom -ness that I'll have if I ride that ride now. And to go on this pirate adventure, I got some friends. Uh, looking hmm? at the cannonball here. Oh! Don't touch the cannonball. Cannon, don't, don't touch the cannonball. <laughs> Adam the Woo, it's a Mickey. Jackie Super Enthused. It is a hidden Mickey. Kind of. It's kind of kind a disgruntled of. hidden Mickey. Like it's, you gotta really use your imagination. Or this could be a hidden Mickey. Well, pirates ye be warned. As you can see in the bushel here. <laughs> We're heading in. We got row number one. Oh boy. Your voice has been temporarily delayed. We started actually taking off in the boat and we got stopped right here. I'd be so upset if we got walked off at this point. Oh man. Just let us go in a little bit further. A little bit further. In three, two, one. <laughs> I've never been so happy. Like a half hour. That was oh. longer than we were in line. <laughs> 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 it really felt like a half hour. So please remain seated for your safety with your hands and arms inside the boat at all times. Thank you. Woo! That was loud. <laughs> that was really loud. All right, guys. Right photos coming up. Let's get ourselves ready here. See you on the other side. Of Davy Jones Locker. Because of the delay, we were in there for probably, I'd say, a good hour. Like, we thought 20 minutes, and remember yeah. we were so confident oh. when we got in there, we are like, oh, 20 minutes, yeah. Too confident. Yep, a little bit over an hour later. Here we are. 
Ooh, this is a treat. Looks like the spring roll stand is open and I've been really wanting to try the pepperoni pizza spring roll. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna get a spring roll. Looks like we got ourselves a nice little spot to eat our pizza spring rolls. Pepperoni. <laughs> I feel like I might need to snap one in half to see what it looks like on the inside first. Oh, they're crunchy. Oh, look at that. Wow. No, this is uh, pepperoni. That looks really good. Oh, so it's like crumbled up pepperoni. Yeah, it's not like an actual like slice of pepperoni. It's grounded oh, pepperoni in there. Huh. Very fancy. <laughs> so this is gonna be my first official spring roll. I've never actually had spring rolls before, but. You've never had a spring roll at all? What? Ever? Mm-mm. That's preposterous. I love them. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I mean, a real spring roll though, Nate, is a different thing. Oh yeah, spring roll is totally different. And it's, it's usually incredible. like an egg roll type of Yeah, spring with a roll. delicious. If you guys have had the spring roll before, let me know if I'm missing out on not trying the cheeseburger one, but I really love the, the pepperoni one. I'm like all about this actually. First time and now I think I'm gonna be a repeat customer. It's very salty though. Do, 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 do. Feeling a little full after the egg rolls, but then we're gonna head back over to Tomorrowland, maybe take a progress check on the people mover. I still don't think it's gonna happen, but you never know. There could be a miracle. It is definitely a beautiful night out though. I'm absolutely loving the skies and the castle. No projections. The lights are turning on though. Look at this, nobody over in Tomorrowland. Completely empty, I can see the people mover cards are just sitting there though. Yep, no Tomorrowland Transit Authority today, folks. But take a look at that. They're ready to go. And we're ready to ride. Oh boy. What's happening? <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> they just like be like, hey guys. It's been our whole day. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> That's so funny. I want to be where those people are. <laughs> I want to be standing and walking on the people mover walkway. Since people mover is not going to happen for us today, I think we're going to skip on over to Storybook Circus and see what the wait is for the Barnstormer and maybe get a good look at uh, Tron. Looks like it's going to be a walk-on. I'm very excited. We get to see the actual Tron construction maybe. Wow, look at this. This looks so pretty from over here, doesn't it? I love seeing Space Mountain in the background. Can you imagine when this is gonna be all blue? And you can see the track is just cut off right there. This comes to a stop. My favorite magician, the great Goofini. I'm so excited. This is a, definitely a kid's ride, but I love it. Oh, we're just going in. <laughs> Three, four, five. Oh boy. <laughs> we're going all the way up. absolutely love that ride even though it's for kids mainly and it's just like literally a minute long it's just fun to actually do and see all the different lights and I don't know I just really enjoy it I feel kind of bad because I wasn't able to see the people move or running today but at least I can see it running at the galactic getaway as this magical day comes to an end we thank you for visiting the magic kingdom from all of us to all of you Good night. 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 Thank you.
So with that, I think I am done here today. The park is closing. Closed at seven o'clock today, but I feel like we got so much accomplished. We did It's a Small World, we did Pirates, we did <laughs> the Barnstormer, which was awesome. We got to eat at Columbian Harbor House, but the Tomorrowland Terrace, and also tried spring rolls for the first time. I feel like that's a good day. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.